So I've always enjoyed like product design and as a child I was always taking things apart. Like my mum said I used to go under the um, dining room table and take all the screws out. Um, and also growing up in London has meant I've been surrounded by like sort of innovation and like forward thinking design and like new builds um, constantly. That also put those together, like my interest in design meant that I wanted to study architecture. It's a brand new course, meaning we have the opportunity to, f to feed the learning how we want it to be fed. So it's a very small cohort compared to other universities, meaning we have lots of like one-on-one -on -one time. There's an open door policy as well with the studio lecturers offices that sit right onto the side of the studio. You'll get to know everyone really well and everyone comes from such different backgrounds with different subject knowledge. We went to London on a trip to do site analysis of different sites of resistance around London. So my group decided to explore St Paul's and the link between the Tate and St Paul's itself down Millennium Bridge. And we had the opportunity to go to Allies and Morrison's, an architect's office. They gave us a talk on the planning and the master plan from St Paul's to the Tate and the Bankside master plan and the history of that. And it's sort of really nice and interesting to get that sort of experience and real life knowledge in terms of to link back to the projects you're doing. Post uni, I'd like to definitely have a job, but also I'd like to go traveling and see the world, <laughs> see different types of architecture in different environments and how architecture impacts different sort of cultures and communities.